Good morning, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Guys, today what I'm going to show you is how you're going to generate airflow alarm, okay? Now, actually, I want to show it to you, my system in full screen, okay? Now, guys, uh, today I want to show my audience how the airflow alarm uh, is being considered in your control logic program, okay? Now, uh, actually, uh, this system is already online, okay? Meaning when I say online, again, I, I have my workstation. This is my BMS workstation. Then I have my, uh, my mini laboratory. I already show you my mini laboratory in uh, showing you how to control these two exhaust fan, okay? Now, uh, right now, there is no exhaust fan running because the operator enable is disabled, okay? Now the operator needs to turn it on or make it true, okay, or enable it. Okay, as you can see here in the background, my, uh, my motor control or my magnetic contactor is energized, okay, for EF2. Okay, as you can see here, right now EF2 is running, why? Because I have here my EF1 runs already for two minutes, okay? Then uh, it will start to uh, record the runtime, okay? Now, let me adjust my runtime so we will not wait for so much time, okay? Within a minute, then it will go to EF1. Then I will show you the effect of airflow alarm. By the way, what is airflow alarm? Okay. Now, as I said, uh, my fan. As you can see in my graphics, it is belt driven. Okay, so meaning even okay. Let me raise my you know. So I have plenty of times to explain. Now my fan is belt driven. Okay, so airflow is being detected by a differential pressure switch installed across the fan. Okay. Now if let's say your belt is broken, then this differential pressure switch will. Uh, will record that event, okay? Then it will give an alarm, okay? Now I will try to, uh, I will try to simulate an alarm, okay? Or let's say I will try to simulate my that my differential pressure switch detected that there is no airflow, okay? Because uh, maybe the belt is broken or it is loose, okay? Now let me remove my, as you can see here, I have here my uh, airflow status is on. I will remove the, uh, because I'm using a relay here, I will remove it. I will remove the supply for that relay. Okay, as you can see, it becomes off. Okay, now I have here some time delay. It's around 30 seconds. Okay, before I will, I will not immediately raise the alarm here. Okay, I will wait for some time delay. Now the the time the time delay is around 30 seconds or 35 seconds. Okay, so after 35 seconds, then that's the only time that the alarm will pop up or come into my graphics okay now uh, actually uh, if you are uh, if you really want to make your program flexible you can always okay i already have the alarm now if there's a problem in ef1 of course ef2 will uh, run okay because that is the uh, good practice because as you can see we are serving this uh, battery room or battery charging room okay as we know there might be some toxic fumes that will be uh, emitted by the batteries inside this room and it is very uh, dangerous to uh, maintenance people okay that, that, that's a toxic fumes okay? now we, we need to bend it out that's why when i have an alarm here okay my control will stop that exhaust fan then it will try to run ef2 when there's no problem with ef2 okay now uh, the when this one of course of course there will be a BMS operator in front of the BMS workstation. Then he will notify the maintenance people. Okay, there is an airflow alarm. Will you please check the equipment? Maybe the belt is broken or there's something wrong with the motor. Okay. Now, when the maintenance people rectify the problem, then they will inform the BMS operator. Then that's the time the BMS operator will try to reset the alarm condition. Okay, now I'll reset. Now it becomes normal. Okay. Now the operator needs to put it back to false, okay? So that the next time uh, air for alarm, of course, then you will be able to reset it again, okay? Now, as you can see, uh, my control logic program 
Okay, now let me return the airflow because if not, it will give an alarm again. Okay, so I will return. Now it's on. Okay. So again, my sequencing will try to it will try to count again. Okay. So it will resume the sequencing. But the for the maintenance alarm, for the runtime alarm, it will continue to accumulate. Now, as I already explained in my previous tutorial, the sequencing will be for that the change over of the two funds. Okay. So that will be the uh, airflow alarm for this twin exhaust fan. The same thing will happen. Let's say EF2 is running, then airflow alarm occurs. Of course, it will stop. Then my control logic program will start this EF1 to continuously uh, serve this battery charging room. Okay. Now, guys, I'm inviting you to join my online class and be a member of my YouTube channel because in my in my in my members, I am showing you how to do the control logic program for this. Okay. So again, uh, thank you very much for joining me in this short video clip. And I do hope I have given you an idea. If you really want to join this field of engineering as a BMS engineer, you have an idea how you will implement uh, airflow alarm in your control logic program. So once again, Santos is always ending this video tutorial by saying God bless us all and bye for now.